we already start to see a lot of adoption around it. And this comes at the very right time because the, the last mile delivery, which is a large part of, of, of logistics, right? This is already becoming a commodity, right? It's a, we know that we are in logistics and logistics is a thankless business. Nobody remembers who delivered your parcel on time, but people remember who delivered it late and they go to Facebook and they do the, your character assassination there. Um, <clears throat> And, and there is a, a very little sticky factor there. People look at purely logistics as a sunk cost, and anything that provides a cheaper, uh, somewhat better sasta sundar tika option, uh, people go with that, right? So there is a need for, for logistics companies to, to start thinking beyond logistics. Uh, if you look at the, the, the revenue potential, if you're just doing parcel delivery, uh, cash on delivery, and flexible like on demand uh, in locker boxes, your, your revenue potential is, is very small. It's, it's just the beginning of it. There's a whole big world of logistics for e-commerce that exist, and there are companies which successfully demonstrated that it is possible. You can provide uh, cross-border services, uh, in-country consolidations, uh, destruction of unwanted product, relisting of unwanted product, uh, exports, and channel management, so helping smaller brands or bigger brands to manage their entire e-commerce channel uh, so, for example, we operate the entire e-commerce channel for 3M and L'Oreal, and they have zero additional headcount. Everything is done by us as, as, as a, uh, a logistics platform and company. This view of logistics company that they need to provide value-added services to make the sailors' life easy uh, will help to, to bring in more sailors uh, online in, in region and in India, basically enabling as a single platform beyond delivery. So delivery is a one small part of it. Uh, listing, selling, reconciliation, uh, payment services. In India, registration of, of sellers is a big hassle. Uh, you got to submit the same set of documents three times in, in paper format to four different marketplaces. There's a serious lack of service here, which allows you, uh, which is a trusted service for sellers. You work with that service, and that service basically is integrated with other logistics and e-commerce companies, which allows you to click on those platforms and list on those platforms on a single click. It's possible. We do that in Singapore. We do that in Malaysia, in Indonesia. Uh, it is definitely possible here. And that's an additional service a logistics company can provide because they play a large part in, in e-commerce. And logistic was always seen as post-click. But with this advancement and this view that logistics can do more than delivery is basically bringing logistics uh, a pre-click uh, partner in the whole ecosystem. Um, essentially providing e-commerce on-demand fulfillment, uh, cross-border e-commerce, uh, channel management, uh, uh, payment reconciliation services to small, medium, and big sellers and brands uh, uh, locally and regionally. Uh, specifically about cross-border, this is where we see the future of logistics is all about integration globally. Uh, multiple platforms will work with each other. Uh, there will be a seamless uh, a transportation of an order and a parcel and payment uh, across different continents, um, which is already happening, right? So for our case, like 45% of our revenue comes purely from cross-border e-commerce, uh, enabling multiple parcels uh, across uh, multiple networks. So logistics company, they start to become like a single API and single invoice for a brand for the entire region. So you do not need to work with, with multiple logistics company. You do not need to find multiple vendors. You work with a single platform. Right? And this will happen if logistics companies enable themselves as a platform which does beyond logistics. A um, bit about Enchanto. Um, we are, a, we are a technology company uh, based in Singapore and India. Uh, we do our software development here. Uh, we help uh, 3PLs and logistics companies uh, to provide uh, beyond fulfillment services uh, using our technology platform. Uh, that enables them to do fulfillment, uh, cross-border channel management, uh, reverse logistics on a, on a global scale. Uh, this, in turn, enables uh, brands and sellers not only to fulfill and list and sell the product in local market, uh, but regionally and globally as a part of the single platform. So it works as a, as a single uh, API 
uh, for the entire region. We work with some of the great logistics companies uh, across the region, uh, in Southeast Asia, uh, in Europe, uh, in US, uh, providing uh, e-commerce fulfillment, uh, cross-border channel management, and, and marketplace listing services. Um, the whole network of Enchanto software uh, gives an access of close to more than a one a billion internet users for brands and sellers so that they can reach out, they can list their product, and seamlessly uh, fulfill their orders uh, across the region. Uh, in India, uh, we work with DTDC. So DTDC is Enchanto partner. Um, they're, they're deploying and building their their e-commerce logistics services uh, on top of the Enchanto platform uh, here uh, for, for India market and some of the SAR countries. And that's about Enchanto. Uh, I run a bit fast so that we can leave some more time for, for question and answer. I think we still have like eight minutes. I don't charge for it, so ask. It's free. Hi. Hi, my name is Bharat. Uh, I so I understand what the business is. I just want to understand. I run a very small de delivery company, which is not B2C, it's C2C. So I want to know if I can use Enchanto as a platform. And because I operate just in Bombay right now, we've not even expanded out of Bombay. So how can I use you guys? And how do you see some smaller, like smaller companies like us in the same logistics sector probably using you guys? Because you work with all big companies. Like you have DTDC and everybody else, so yeah. Okay, so um, we can sign a contract there. We have a booth, so you can work with us. <laughs> um, uh, we don't differentiate small and big. And Chanto started with one and a half people, right? So we ourselves look at it as a very small company. Um, C2C delivery, on-demand deliveries, we know in the market what the situation is. Um, if you're a delivery company, my advice to you, or suggestion, I'm not worthy of giving any advice to anyone. <laughs> my suggestion will be to, to, to look beyond point A to B. So A being a pickup point and B being a delivery point, uh, will you be able to build a scalable global business with that, which will give a great return to investors? I don't think so. So what value-added services you can build, uh, what scalable uh, uh, things you can do on top of it, uh, what are the resources you have, that is what you got to think about. Um, enabling on-demand delivery is great. Uh, we have seen that business model has its own issues. Uh, the return is a challenge. Uh, manpower is a challenge. Uh, uh, building a technology, investing heavily into technology is a challenge. Uh, we've been developing this for five years. Uh, it's still not fully developed. It's still in process. It takes a lot of time. Um, uh, and the way we develop is that we run our own warehouses in Singapore. So my CTO sits in warehouse so that he can build a better software which can be used by other third-party logistics companies. So if you do not have capacity to build a software, uh, the way we work is an open platform. Anybody can come and start offering services. Uh, it's absolutely uh, no upfront fees, very straightforward. It's not a sales pitch. Um, and you can come and join. That's absolutely fine. Thank you. Okay.